When you start a new LLC or business entity, it's important to establish a new business bank account to handle all of your business transactions apart from your personal checking account. If you don't do this, it can leave you vulnerable to some pretty big tax and legal liability issues, so you definitely don't want to skip this step. But where should you open your business bank account? Well, one option is to just open up a new business bank account at the same place where you have your personal checking and savings accounts. And this isn't necessarily the wrong answer, especially if you're already familiar with that bank and its mobile app and the online system and how it all works. This was what I did when I got started. And I found that the credit union where I had my personal bank accounts was not the best fit for managing my business bank accounts. The mobile app was kind of clunky and all of a sudden my credit union started charging me these annoying monthly fees for everything I was doing. Even though the personal checking account was free, for some reason having a business checking account was gonna cost me money. And I eventually learned that some banks just frankly aren't that great at what they do. Maybe they nickel and dime you for everything under the sun. Maybe they don't offer the banking features and products and services that are actually gonna make your life easier. And I I used to think that all banks were this perfect apples to apples comparison, but they're really not, not by a long shot. Now that I learned about one that's actually pretty good, I wanted to let you know about them too. If you haven't already heard of Mercury, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about this online banking platform and uh, hopefully help you decide whether or not this is the right fit for you. I don't mean for this video to be an endorsement or a recommendation or financial advice or any of that. I just want to make sure you're aware of this bank so that you can kind of make your own decision on whether or not this is the right fit for you. So Mercury is built for startups. This bank is completely online. There are no physical branches anywhere. So in order to open up your account and use everything you need to use, you can do everything you need to do from your computer or even your phone in most cases. They've basically mastered the onboarding process to make it very easy and seamless to open up your account. And even if you're not a U.S. citizen, even if you have no plans or ability to get to the U.S. and physically visit a branch like most banks will make you do, Mercury is one of the few banks that makes it very easy for foreign investors and business people without a social security number to set up a U.S. bank account. And maybe the best part about Mercury Bank is that it's free. There's no monthly fees. They don't nickel and dime you. You don't have to keep a minimum balance. None of that nonsense. And and they're really known in the banking world for an exceptionally well-designed product. And before I decided to move my business bank account over to Mercury, I spent a ton of time investigating them, asking a ton of questions, trying to gather as much information as I could to really sort of separate out how much of these good things I'm hearing about Mercury is just like marketing material and how much of it is like truth. What are the downsides about Mercury Bank? What is it that people don't like about it? Are there any negative reviews out there? What are some of the gotchas that are out there? Because no bank is perfect. So while Mercury Bank definitely has a lot of good things to offer, some of the downsides to be aware of is that they don't offer a check service yet. So if you want like physical checks that you can write to people, they can't do that yet. You can order checks online and have them mailed to somebody within seven to 10 days. But if you want like an actual physical checkbook or be able to print checks off on your computer. Mercury doesn't do that currently. I'm hoping that they're going to make that available at some point because I don't have to write a ton of checks in my business, but the need definitely does come up from time to time. But at this point, the alternative to that is just to use the ACH transfer or wire to somebody else. And that can work too. You also can't use Zelle if that's something that you're accustomed to using. And there's no customer service by phone, but they do have very good email and online chat customer service. But if you're somebody who likes to just pick up the phone and call somebody or if you want to like physically visit a place and talk to them face to face that's not an option with mercury bank and they also have some limits on how big some of your transactions can be and i actually spent some time uh, emailing their customer service back and forth a few times trying to figure out what are the limits and how do you determine what those limits are is it based on how much money i make and put into my account or how much i have in my balance is it what kind of business i'm in i was trying to narrow down like what is the limit and here's the lowdown they gave me for receiving wires and ACH payments from customers and outside parties. The daily limit is $100 million for incoming payments. So if only I was that lucky to come up against that limit. And for brand new accounts with no or limited transaction history, where they basically just don't know what kind of company is, or they don't know much about you for the ACH out, you could send out $50,000 daily, 40,000 per day for check deposit, 25,000 per day for check payment and $100,000 
$1,000 per day for a domestic wire. So even if I did come across something and I had to send out like $100,000 to purchase a property, I would be able to domestically wire that amount in one day. Or if I was trying to send it out through ACH or some other way, I might have to break that up among two or three days. And, you know, after doing a couple transactions, I have to imagine it, it wouldn't be that difficult to increase the limit if you really needed to. But just looking at a brand new account with no transaction history, without a whole lot of money sitting there in the account, it's nothing extreme that would get in my way of doing business day to day. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to mention that because that may be a material detail. Now, another question you might have is how does Mercury handle online security and fraud protection? After all, if there are no physical branches, you might feel kind of weird. Like, where am I sending my money? And how do I know this is safe and protected if I can't ever actually go and shake anybody's hand and talk to a real person? Well, as I found, they actually do quite a bit for this, which makes sense considering they're 100% online. Uh, I can totally see why some people might feel leery about this, but you can learn all about it on their security page. And basically, to make a long story short, Mercury protects customer data, transactions, and funds with two-factor authentication, encryption, and monitoring for suspicious activity, among other things. So they're doing pretty much all the same stuff that any other huge bank would be doing. And I mean, given the way that their business works, it's very important that they have this dialed in. So does Mercury have any physical branches or any physical location anywhere? Or is this thing literally entirely online? Essentially, anything you need to do with your bank account, you would have to go through the website or the mobile app to do that. And luckily, their mobile app has a near perfect rating in the app store. I mean, pretty much everything you would ever need is very doable and is very easy on the website or on the mobile app. So let's say you want to open up a bank account with Mercury Bank. What's the process? How easy is this to do? Well, I actually recorded a whole other video recording myself opening up my own bank account with them. So I used to have my business bank account for my land business at Chase Bank. And honestly, I don't have many complaints about Chase Bank. They did a fine job, but I wanted to be able to show people what they can expect if they decide to migrate over to Mercury Bank or set up their account there for the first time. So if you want to go check that out, I'll have a link to that video beneath this video. And the bottom line is it's very easy. It can be done in about 10 minutes. It's not hard. Now, if you're a foreigner or a non-US citizen, what does Mercury Bank need from you in order to open up a bank account like this? Well, I'll just say, if you've ever tried to get a U.S. bank account and you're not a U.S. citizen, you'll know that it's usually kind of a hassle. Most of them will require a social security number or you're going to have to physically visit a branch in person, which can be a huge hassle. Say if you're living somewhere on the other side of the world and you got to fly all the way to the U.S. just to open up a U.S. bank account. But luckily... Mercury Bank is one of the few banks out there that uh, allows you to set up your bank account without going through these unnecessary steps. Now, granted, you should have your LLC or your business entity set up in the U.S. and you should have your employer identification number first before you get to the stage of opening up a bank account with Mercury. But assuming you have that stuff... Uh, it's a breeze to get through the process. So how easy is it to deposit or withdraw funds from your Mercury account? It's actually very easy as long as it's not cash. And this could be one of the drawbacks, depending on who you are, depending on what kind of business you're running. If you have physical cash, like actual dollar bills, and you want to deposit that into your Mercury business account, you can't. You would have to convert that to some kind of a check or some kind of online funds and then get it into your account. And for some types of businesses, this is no problem because you never deal with cash anyway. But say if you're like a convenience store or something like that and you frequently need to take this cash and put it in your account, you're going to have a really hard time doing that with Mercury Bank. So that's one big thing to be aware of. And the same thing goes for withdrawing cash. You are going to get a debit card and you can use that debit card to go to like an ATM machine and withdraw cash that way after you pay the convenience fee of that machine, but in terms of finding a local Mercury Bank ATM or branch or something like that, you're not going to find that. Now, you might be wondering, what are other customers saying about Mercury? Like, is this a well-reviewed bank that people are happy with? Or are there a lot of uh, complainers out there? And in my research, I didn't find really any negative reviews about them. Granted, at the time of this recording, Mercury Bank is still a newer bank. They've got over 100,000 customers, so they're not a small entity, but they're not exactly like a Wells Fargo or a Chase Bank where they've just been around for decades and decades. So that doesn't mean that there are no complainers or haters out there, but if there are, they haven't been too loud about it on the internet just yet. Now, something I was wondering about when I first started looking at Mercury is like, what kind of loan products does Mercury offer? Like, can I get a home mortgage from them or a home equity line of credit or 
anything else like that. And uh, it sounds like Mercury does not currently offer traditional credit options. Apparently they are not an authorized lender yet, but uh, they tell me that they would love to provide this service to their customers soon. They're just not there yet. Again, at the time of this recording, if you are looking for a home equity line of credit or home mortgage or something like that, you'd probably have to look elsewhere at this point. Another question that came to my mind when I first started looking at Mercury is how stable is this bank? It hasn't really been around that long. Like, can I trust it? And uh, interestingly, Mercury is actually a technology company and not a bank. It provides its banking services through its partner banks, Choice Financial Group and Evolve Bank and Trust. Both of these banks are US based, FDIC insured and regulated by multiple entities, including the FDIC. So Mercury Mercury's sweep network means that they can insure up to $5 million in FDIC insurance, which is actually more than what you would normally get at a bank that offers like $250,000 of insurance. So you can rest assured, even though this is kind of an unconventional way to hold a bank account being all online like this, it's subject to all the same standards and regulations that any other legitimate bank would be. So one thing I know some people might be curious about is, can you automate transfers in Mercury? And how hard is it to like set up a new account within your business bank account. Say if you wanted to do like the profit first model, where you have a few different accounts where money is automatically dispersed to those accounts each month. And it's actually fairly easy to do both, whether you want to create a new bank account and or set up automations that happen automatically each month. So you can set up an auto transfer rule to regularly move funds exactly when you need to. And are there any special promotions going on right now? Well, at the time of this recording, Yes, there are. If you click through the RE Tipster affiliate link and if you inject $10,000 within 90 days of opening up your account, they'll give you 200 bucks for free. I don't know if that promotion is going to be around forever, but even if it's not, that probably shouldn't be the main reason why you would open up a bank account. It's just kind of a nice little icing on the cake. And in terms of uh, physical or cashier's checks, so I know as a real estate investor, most of the time when I go to a physical bank branch, the reason I'm going there is to get a cashier's check or possibly to get a notary signature or something like that. And in terms of the cashier's check question, can you get cashier's checks from Mercury Bank? And the answer is no, you can't. So if you ever do need a cashier's check to take to a title company or something like that, essentially what you would have to do is wire those funds to the title company. At the end of the day, it's not really that hard. You just kind of have to change your habits in the way that you're accustomed to doing things. If you ever need physical checks, as I mentioned earlier, you can't get them, at least not at this point. If you ever wanted to send a check to somebody, you would have to go online with your account and order a check to be shipped from Mercury Bank's checking processor. And then they would basically mail it to them within seven to 10 business days. Otherwise, again, you would have to find some other online digital way to transfer those funds. So that's another thing you would have to just get used to. And uh, they tell me that they're trying to work on a better way to do this. So there may be some new development there. But at the time of this recording, that's another one of the, I guess, drawbacks of Mercury Bank. If you're somebody who heavily relies on writing checks. To wrap this all up, so what kind of company is Mercury not for? Like what kind of person just should be looking somewhere else because this is not going to be a good fit for them? Mercury Bank is first and foremost geared towards tech companies, but it's really geared towards anybody who does not have to frequently deal with physical cash. So again, if you're any kind of a company that collects cash from people, Mercury Bank probably is not your number one choice. And uh, if you do have a need to write physical checks a lot, it's not that you can't do it with Mercury Bank. It's just harder to do it that way. If you need cashier's checks for some reason and there's no other way to handle that, Mercury Bank might not be for you. And uh, if you just want to have no limits whatsoever on how much money you can transfer, again, I'm still not sure what those limits are. I'm sure they're probably reasonable, but apparently they put limits on those amounts from time to time, then you might want to look somewhere else. So hopefully that gives you a pretty good overview of Mercury Bank. Again, not saying you need to use Mercury Bank. There's plenty of other banks out there. And if you don't mind paying annoying little fees and this kind of stuff, then go ahead and work with any bank you want. But if you're at all interested in something like what Mercury Bank has to offer, I hope you found this helpful. Also be sure to check out the video I made about how to set up a new account. It'll just kind of show you what you can expect if you decide to go down this path. And uh, again, be sure to click through the RE Tipster affiliate link beneath this video. It's retipster.com forward slash Mercury and you can get in on that promotion and get 200 bucks if you put in that 10 grand to start. So thanks for watching. Hope you found this helpful. Talk to you next time.